grab my bowl of cherries. I wasn't sure if you noticed what I was eating earlier. Cherries. No? No pits would be a lot better. I'm gonna come back for the milk in a minute. So if you're wondering, if you're curious, why is Aaron doing the barn alone? See those lights in the distance back there? Unfortunately, it's windy. You probably can't hear it. And I wish I could stay and wait. Maybe you heard that. My point is it's laughter. It's kids, all four of them, in the pool, swimming at the same time. So it's, this is being recorded on Friday evening. The store was open till five. We had a couple of late shoppers, so we were in there till 5.30. And then we sat on the front lawn as a family and kind of talked about some stuff. So then it became 6.30. Then some of us made dinner, Tyler went fishing. And then it became like, oh, we want to go in the pool. They didn't get in the pool until almost seven. And then Tyler goes, at 7.45, can I go in the pool? And we're like, of course you can go in the pool. Why do you think you can't go in the pool? Well, because it's almost time to do the barn and you guys are gonna go do the barn and we can't be in the pool without you. And we're like, no, 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 no. If you guys want to be in the pool, the four of you, I'll go do the barn on my own. Mom can stay here and watch you guys. We're not letting the barn break up the kids having a good time. So, that's what happened. What's going on with my lights? That's weird. So, I did the barns. Mom watched the kids. I think mom's job was more important than mine. But, that's what we did. And that's what we will continue to do pretty much all summer long if that's how it plays out because one thing you know when Jake went away for residential if you don't know for those of you that might not know our oldest son Jake who is now 16 earlier this year when he was 15 in like January February time frame I don't know the exact dates but and I don't even remember exactly how long, but Jake struggles with his mental health. He is doing so good. I would say he's more stable than he's been in years. He went away for 30 plus days. I want to say it was almost 40 days. He went to a he went to a place where he needed to be. And even though he thinks it didn't work, it totally worked. And and he's doing a lot of work doing a lot of work on himself we're doing a lot of work as a family this is for example right here you know the divide and conquer rule if we have to do it we'll do it not that we want to right Liz and I would love to be able to do I'm trying to find a place to put you I forgot my tripod again we would love to be able to do everything kind of together you know always be in the barn the two of us but it's not how it's gonna work. To the point where there might be, we can't even guarantee, for those of you that goat snuggle with us, there might be days where Jake or Tyler or Quinn or Olivia need to be somewhere. Olivia Gymnastics, Tyler, who knows? You might wanna enter some fishing tournament. Jake with like, you know, comic book something. There's a comic book thing coming up in the next couple weeks that he might wanna to go to. We might just have to say you know what i could run the store alone you know you guys go out and do it so lots of changes happening things like that it's super dark out here and youtube will tell you dark videos don't do good now this one video won't do good but at least you get a little chit chat before on your let's see this is friday night you guys will see this tomorrow saturday i'll post this one right away what else did I want to say though? There was something else I wanted to say. Oh, you might notice Amy is not getting milked as much. Uh, definitely not at night. And she might even be getting skipped like every other morning. Now that we're in July, 
A couple other goats are gonna get start moving that direction too, mornings only, because we are stocked full in the freezer. I cannot fit any more. Oh no, my hose is getting all stretched. Hang on, gotta fix the hose. <sighs> there we go. All right, yeah, so we'll start going down to uh, once, you know. But we like to say babies before business and the good adult moms are babies too. There are babies. Hopefully you can hear me. This wind is really picking up. I got a fine spot to put this milk. This is about two and a half to three gallons right here. So I could still hear them playing out there. It's awesome. Jake has been in the pool more this year than he has been probably the last three years combined. So it's just, you know, I don't know, mixing it up. The Xbox might be fun, but there are other things that are fun too. That's kind of the theory here, mixing it up. All right, so what was I saying? Yeah, goat milk, babies, I mean, babies before business, whether that's little babies like, you know, you know, Winnie, Winston, they all needed that milk when Moo passed away and Moo will never forget you. Never, I feel so bad. You probably hate me up there running around with, you know, Airy and all the other little goats. Here's your box, Moo. It's right there. You haven't gone anywhere. You're still there. Look at those clean, beautiful black spots. White ones I have not redone yet. I still gotta get to those. I keep waiting for a rainy day, to be honest. There's so much yard work going on. I'm just gonna sit on the milk and talk and then I'll put the milk away. Uh, there's just so much yard work going on. I keep, the inside stuff keeps getting pushed off. So yeah, Jake's doing extremely well. Family's doing pretty good. And the business is doing okay. I mean, we got the the uh, summer, um, what was that? Summer sale or the Christmas in July just launched today, which was awesome. A lot of good things flew out the door. Some stuff sold out. That whole page was designed to sell out. That was the point. Like some of that stuff is not coming back. That was last year's, you know, peppermint bark was last year. Will we make that this year for Christmas? I don't know, mom's in charge of that stuff. That's above my pay grade. I don't know what else I was gonna say. You know, it's Saturday. It's time for me to go in, put the milk away, edit this video in the morning, and uh, send it out to you guys. That's pretty much the pattern lately. Record one day, edit the next day, send it to you. You're almost getting the content in like, 24 hours of it really happening. Now, that won't be true for the, uh, I got I probably have about eight videos in the hopper that are close to a month old, a um, couple weeks old. So they have to get edited and sent out, but because we're going so real time, it's where we're at. So that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna go meet up with the family. I think they're out back. We're gonna say thank you once again. I can't believe, sometimes when I do the barn by myself and it's just routine, I could almost do it blindfolded. Part of me wants to, get new headphones so I can listen to something. But sometimes not listening to anything and just the sounds of the machine, the goats jumping on and off the stanchions, it's like so, I could literally do it blindfolded. Now, yes, I know, I leave a gate open every now and then. You kind of think to yourself like, I can't believe this is what I do for a living now. I milk goats, I milk goats. And then we make soap and lotion out of it. And we've done the math. This is where I was going earlier. I forgot, I now remember babies before business. Now we didn't get the walk-in freezer, so we are pretty much stuck. Like, I don't even know if this milk bucket right here is gonna fit in the freezer. I'll figure it out, I think it'll fit. And then later next week, we're gonna make a lot of soap and a lot of lotion in preparation for Christmas, which will give me more room to store a little more milk, but it's very possible we're aiming for it. I don't know if it's gonna happen, so don't quote me. A lot of things I say on this channel may or may not be true. I'm just kidding, fake news. Um, no, they, they might change, because in real life you change your mind and things change and sometimes you have to adjust. But what I'm saying is we've got enough milk to double the business. Whatever we did last year in sales, if we have all this milk and can do, the, we'll be fine is my point. Yes, I want to walk in freezer. Yes, I want to be able to store more milk so we don't ever get to the point where we're completely sold out. But if we sell out, we sell out. It is what it is. I'm not gonna over milk the goats. Mom and I, Liz, just so you know, Liz, and I are not going to over milk them just to grow the business. We're not gonna go to 200 head of 
goats here. We don't want that. Never. So my point was they might, if we can plan this correctly, have the whole month of August off from milking. We, uh, we usually aim to be done milking by September, start that weaning process by September, mid-September, they're done. They get the second half of September, part of October before they breed. They get a couple weeks off. We're hoping to get them two months off. Just healthy, happy goats, that's it. That's what we're hoping to do. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know, but that's the plan. So Amy was first. She's already been, already been weaned to only milking once a day. Um, it'll also be very good for the family. If we can get the whole month of August off from milking and morning and night chores turn into like 20 minutes each, um, that'd be beautiful. And then once you get to that, you can get people like Uncle Kevin or Angie or maybe Rob and Jenna or somebody to, milk, to do the barns for us and house it and we can like go somewhere. Who knows? You never know. So that's it. That's my ramble for this evening. 12 minutes of rambling in the dark. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.